Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another mini guide. In this one, we're looking at a handy technique to create really weathered and faded paint. And it uses this household salt. Here's how it works. This is a simple technique that can become an integral part of your weathering looks. The key thing when using salt is to always think about your base coat as well as your top coat. In this example we're working on Tamiya's 1 24th scale beetle. We want to give it a rat look. In other words, a battered and beaten appearance. That means we want rust to show through under the top coat of paint. So we first paint the model in primer. Then we start working on the base coat. Here we're using Life Colors' excellent rust tones from their Rust and Dust diorama set number CS10. We spray on a variety of dust mixes. To get a mottled patchy look, we use our mottled gauze technique. We'll be making a separate video showing you this method soon. Use different tones of rust colour and spray through the gauze. This particular piece came from the packaging of an iPhone. You want the slightly open sort of synthetic packaging used with these sorts of gadgets. You can see how mottled the end result is. Now you can seal to protect the rusty base. When happy, it's time to get the salt out. The best is rock salt like this, which you can smash down into smaller chunks. Try to get a mixture of different sized salt particles. Sieve if needed. Next, wet the area of the model you'll be working on. Sprinkle on the salt where you want the rusty base to show through. The water will combine with the salt and hold it in place. Allow to dry for a few minutes as you mix up your top coat. Then spray directly over the salt. Don't worry too much if the air dislodges some of the salt. It will all add to the finished look. Spray on several light coats, building up different intensities of colour. Once happy, leave the paint to harden slightly. Then scrape off the salt with a toothbrush or electric toothbrush. There you go, a worn and faded top coat with a lot of rust corrosion showing through. You don't have to use a rust base, it could be any colour. Here we have used the salt technique on this Challenger too. It replicates a worn away sand camouflage, revealing the original NATO colours. You can repeat the process as often as you like, and vary the intensity for different effects. Work in small areas at a time for a more controllable approach. Don't forget to download more premium model making videos from ScaleWarMachines.com You can use all your usual weathering techniques on top of your finish to bring your faded paint yet more life. Remember too you can employ this technique on smaller items like wheels. And here you can see our finished beetle. Painting this way will give you a quick and easy method to create worn and battered vehicles for your military dioramas, or maybe, like us, you just like the rat look. There you go, a simple but effective technique that anyone can master. You can submit content to our website or get involved on our Google+, Facebook or Twitter communities. Stay tuned to Scale War Machines for more modelling videos. Bye for now.